it all kicks off. Well, this has been the day here so far. The world's on the road. Crashes in the neutral zone before the start. And we eventually got going. The attack should come on the first lap. Break going away. Strong break that if they'd gone to sleep a little too much, Brian, it would have been danger of going all the way. Just noticed right there from the start when that break was, was going that um, our eventual winner was right up there towards the front. Um, so Haggins was, was there and thereabouts, riding it from the front, but saving all the time and making that effort. You know, throughout the race, we had many teams come up to the front, but still Lures, Tarling and Cadillac were holding a good advantage. And, you know, so many riders kind of reaching out, but I think it was a case of trying to kind of save, save, save as much as you can, let your teammates do all the hard work, and it kind of paid for the, uh, the Norwegians in the end. France were very active, weren't they? They rode a, a really good race. They've ended up with a place on the podium as their reward as well. The Italians, not far off bronze. Belletta just caught in the final few hundred metres after he went away, firstly, with his German colleague Schreig. Pickering then came across too for Great Britain. And that's after his compatriot had been out in the break for most of the day, just Tarling. Pickering was strong, perhaps showed a little too much of that, Brian. Yeah, a little, and I, I think maybe get caught up, but, you know, in that crash, but, you know, looking behind at this moment, you know, Norway were out of it. You know, you had six riders in front, two French riders, but it was all coming back together very, very slowly. Simon Dolby here making an effort for Denmark, but, you know, this is what the Norwegian is trying to do, trying to set up uh, Haggins and... He was, he was the rider that was having to do a lot of the work, but just look at him there, just playing it cool, not worrying too much. Came onto this climb and just accelerated, and others kind of get caught behind that crash just there. He had 20 seconds at this point, and he held on to that cap. Even allowed a chance to celebrate towards the end, too. Grégoire, who he beat who he'd been beaten by, I should say, in the Euros just a few days ago, was beaten this time. And Hagen has across the line as the world champion. Silver medal for France. Romain Grégoire looking very good at the moment. French champion, European champion. Had to settle for second place to this man, though, at the Worlds.